Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's mid-June 2020, we're in the FA18C and we've had a small but a really important and useful change to the Lightning II teapot in this aircraft. So let's get the teapot fired up. I'm going to go to Fleur, currently in a standard stowed position. So remember now to get out of here, we can do a double click of the undesignate button. That's going to take it to VVSL, Velocity Vector Slave, another double click. Of the undesignate takes us to snowplow mode which is a fixed position just below our ball site around here now from snowplow mode assuming we've got our tdc assigned which we have with our diamond there we can use our tdc slew keys to move our t-point point around and if i were then to press tdc depress i could designate a target point so this is not new so far what's new is this that we now have what we call a broken diamond symbol there. That means a target is designated, and you can see you've got 9.9 .9 miles to target, and a diamond in the floor here. But because it's broken diamond, that means it's currently movable. Not only can we move the actual floor teapot, but we can also have that represented in the HUD as the broken diamond. Now the useful thing about this that we've not had before is we can not only visualize the target being moved here but also in the HUD. So I can now move about with the slew keys and I can see it there and I can see it there. And that's great because situational awareness in the FLIR as you all know is very bad. So situational awareness in the HUD is great. So if I wanted to move to that ship say there, I know you might struggle to see it, but I can move that diamond over to it using the HUD and then switch down to the floor and you can see I've moved to the ship. So like I said, small change, but a really important change. Next, I just want to show you that if we convert this from just a basic slewable target to an area or a point track, I'm going to do that with sensor control switch right. You see I've now got area track. It's now a solid diamond rather than a broken diamond, which means if I press TDC slew, I can no longer slew it about. And let's convert it to a point track if I can. It may, yes, I can. Point track with SCS right again. Still a solid diamond, so I still can't slew it. SCS right again takes us to slewable target, and it's now a broken diamond, and I can move it about again. That's all I wanted to show. I hope that's useful. Make use of that, and see you later.